Jawheads will be here by then. I'm gonna wait it out. But I'll keep an eye out for you. Alright. That's Oh Shit. my god. That's a lot of Zeke. That is Zeke incredible choice. What is up guys, Dr. GTA back with another zombie episode, Zombie Apocalypse, and this is World War Z, the new game. I got the pre-beta. Shout out to my amazing PR department over there for helping me get this game. And I, this is the beta, and I decided I was going to show you guys some stuff before the beta even starts. So here we go, let's jump into it. I'm going to show you the interface and all the settings and stuff, so let's jump into that. No, not waste any time. We got the uh, game, the motion blur. You got all that stuff. Um... You can change your gamma, which is cool. You can change it to see like how it's visible or barely visible. It's pretty cool. You can actually set the gamma accurately. I don't like that. Um, you can change your graphics API to different DirectX modes, probably DirectX 10 and stuff. You can do windowed or borderless or full screen. Throw that up in 4K. We got to do it too. Um, we got target displays, different monitors, vertical sync on. You can set a frame per second limit. I'm going to go by uh, 60 because 60 is all I really can record at, obviously. You have your different visual presets for details, anti-aliasing, post-processing. You can do TA, FXAA, or Ultra. Um, typically, there's a lot of these different ones. Post-processing, shadow, lighting, effects, texture. It's pretty cool. The details, you can do all kinds of different things. Just pause it if you decide you want to read in the details as they're on the right side of the screen. Um, let's apply that real quick. All right, now we are in the controls. You can actually change your controls. Every control is right here for everything you do in the game. Now, I've already, already played this game, so I already kind of know what's going to happen in this gameplay. But um, I won't waste any more time. You got camera shake effects if you get hurt, I'm assuming. Your sensitivity, you can change that as well. You can also use controller, Xbox One controller support works for this thing. I've used it, changing all your controllers, aim assist, you've got audio, your master volume, SFX, UI, all the good stuff. You can even change your dynamic range, which is cool. I would say if you're using headphones, you want a small dynamic range. But uh, if you're using uh, like a big stereo speakers that are out, I would make it large. Uh, voice activation, it's pretty cool. And you can do push to talk, it looks like, and speed detection, it's cool. You can change your HUD, tutorial tips, crosshairs, all the good stuff that you guys want to see. Someone already uploaded a video about this, but they didn't upload this part, so I decided I'd do take one for the team. And of course, if you enjoy that, make sure to smash the like button, as it helps rank the video so people can find all the good stuff about this game before it even comes out. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. Let's jump right into it. Obviously, we can't play online right now, but we will be doing a video. You can click the card in the top right corner to see me and my friends playing this co-op when the game drops, which will probably be three days from when this video drops. Uh, you have multiplayer, uh, your collection, which is like your different characters you can have saved. This is all the characters. Judd Whittaker, Dina Mizraya, Ethan Wolf, Daniel Alley, Arneta Larkin... Bunko Tatsumi, Tashan Burnell, Ivan Dovinchko, sorry if I'm Dovinch, how do you say that? Dovchenko, Dovin, Dovchenko, yeah, it's Russian. Os Oksana Orloskaya, sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong, I'm an American, so just forgive me. Tamir Yoshkevich, Sergi Pofov, Hir Hiroji Akara, Taso Matsumoto, Kimoko Namira, Sho Sigama, Sigama, pretty cool. They all have their own little backstory, and you can't read it obviously until you play as the character. I'm actually playing as Tashan right now. Tashan was an NYC firefighter, and he survived survive the September 11th attack. Was plagued by survivors with guilt and post-traumatic stress disorder. For Tashan, the Great Panic felt more like a sh change of scenery than a. Let's go into this other part. We got weapons and equipment for this guy. You can have your equipment and your weapons. Uh, you have different things you can hold on you. Frag grenades are one class um, of different weapons. Molotovs, masking grenades for smoke. C4, claymore. Set that and it trips it. Supply bag, which is basically like explosives that get replenished. You got your stun gun, X26, but they made a joke parody of it. A stim pistol. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe to revive people. 
and then you've got your weapons now there's a class for what we just seen but there's also two you can have a primary and a secondary weapon and a pistol as well when you hold that in case you're wondering you can hold three weapons and grenades you got your scout rifle assault rifle sporting carbine assault carbine battle rifle Ooh, that's pretty cool looks like a scar h bull pulp rifle combat smg smg advanced smg shotgun combat shotgun assault shotgun sniper rifle crossbow pistol machine pistol revolver pdw double barrel shotgun compact shotgun grenade launcher payload rifle rpg launcher machine gun mgl mini grenade launcher assault shotgun chainsaw this is my favorite by far i found this in one of the matches and it was really cool you can actually select it and you can upgrade these different stages of, per of perks you can actually go into a render mode and you can render it out it looks so good the details it's just so good you can even zoom in and that's pretty much your renders let's get out of that now we went over that let's go over the world there's different worlds you can play in you've got uh, episode one which is in new york jerusalem and moscow and tokyo as you've seen before you hit enter on these and it takes you directly to them Faust inch on the subway it's pretty cool it's like showing you the parts of like what's breaking down like replies on social media it's pretty cool the nsa with a doc id and this is like a secret thing going on between them messaging back and forth on emails it looks like telling people to get out and if you find this letter i've already turned i've already turned into one of them i was going to shoot myself and get over it. it's pretty creepy so now we went over the characters the weapons and the scenery let's go to either multiplayer and I'll show you those matches. You can find a match, you can go do a quick, just jump in a match like every typical mode. You can go to Swarm Domination, King of the Hill, Swarm Deathmatch, Scavenge Raid, or Vaccine Hunt. And we'll go over these real quick. The Vaccine Hunt is a picking up vaccine and holding it to an holding it to earn victory points for your team. So you just hold on to it, I guess, as long as you can. Scavenge Raid, which is collecting resources scattered around the map or take them from fallen enemies to earn points for a team victory. Pretty cool. I think that's going to be a really good thing to play in the next zombie games to come because there's not really any scavenging game modes in any games and they finally implemented something in this. Swarm Deathmatch. Two teams go head to head in a bitter fight to the end. We've seen that before. King of the Hill, we've seen this one before, like in PUBG and stuff. Capture a single hill, then control it to earn the victory points. Swarm Domination. Capture zones to earn points and win a team victory. Quick Match. Search for any game online. Let's go back. Let's go to the classes. You've got different classes here for your each character, and you can be a survivor, which you have different primary weapons, a shotgun, a revolver, assault, assault shotgun, and a multiple cocktail. So yeah, you have your primary, your secondary, your heavy weapon, and your equipment. There you go. A trapper, which carries a scout rifle, a double row shotgun, an MGL, and a claymore mine, a specialist, which carries a primary weapon of a battle rifle, a secondary of a compact shotgun, a frag grenade, and a payload rifle. A warfighter, which carries an assault carbine, a machine pistol, a frag grenade, and a machine gun. A phantom, he carries a sniper rifle, compact SMG, claymore mine, and a payload rifle. A demolisher, combat shotgun, pistol, MGL, and C4. And I was wrong about that. It's two prime. It's a primary, secondary, and a heavy weapon. My bad. But somehow maybe it glitched and I had the primary and the beta. But this is a beta, so it's not actually completely done. So don't take all this. Is seriously it's probably 90% gonna alter it eventually so you got your striker which he will have a bullpup rifle a pistol RPG and a stem pistol a supporter which is gonna be a assault rifle compact SMG a supply bag and a machine gun now I'm assuming the stem pistol is something that takes out someone stealthily it's shoot you hit them and it kills them immediately or it could be something to uh, help them with um, the assassin is an advanced SMG, a machine gun pistol, a stun gun, and a heavy assault shotgun. Shadow. Um, that is an SMG, compact shotgun, masking grenade, and RPG launcher. And there you go. That's it. So we get out of that, and there you go. You found your classes. You found your matches. All right, here we go, guys. So we're going to go co-op. We're going to go offline, do a good old offline map with New York. And we're going to do Hell or High Water, which I have not done yet. So this is going to be pretty cool. A lot of people showed the other maps, and I figured that would be better just to not show that. Um, I want my preferred character to be Tashan. And I'm going to change my class. That's how you change your class, guys. 
and then we go ready and that's it the game will start and this is an offline game by the way um, I'm running this in 4k and I'm running it at normal scaling I know in the uh, beginning clip I showed you I was at 2.0 scaling but that's like running it in 8k and I just can't take that I also increased my frame rate from 60 frame hard cap to 90 frame just because I know that I want to run buttery smooth so I'm using an Xbox controller too if you want to know um, what I'm using oh wow for the ride, Stevie. Do we hug, kiss, or should I just quietly watch you approach your imminent death? Silence suits you best. Have fun with your trains, nutcase. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm ready. Are you ready? Woo! All right, so let's move, guys. Yeah, it's running a lot smoother now. These guys right here, if you see the red reticule pop up on their head, that means they're, like, really rogue and shit, and shit's about to go down. So you gotta jump over. You hit A to vault on the keyboard. If they pop up red like that, that means they're going to jump and scare you. So if you just point your gun at them, you can predict it when they're doing that. Um, hold down X to get your Molotovs. You get your Molotovs. You get your a double barrel shotgun secondary. Holy I mean, shit. I'll pick it up, but whatever. I don't need it for now anyway. Oh shit, there's a zombie. I don't want to shoot. I want to let him go. Yeah, they're all running that way. You see all those zombies, guys? Look at them. Damn all. it! Hudson straight ahead, but I don't see a way. Find another way through. I want to look off the beaten path because you can find lots of really That's good what shit. I'm talking Ooh. about. Make sure that guy ain't gonna jump us. You can find lots of really good shit if you just go off the beaten path. They said, and this has already been looted, but that's the common box they use to put shit in the loot in. I'm sure there'll be there's some. We've already got it. That's Molotovs. Shit. We gotta get off the streets. Those warehouses down the ramp on the right. The UN. That's cool. And it's better if you press them, like push, and then only back up when you need to. So usually to press on them. There's the zombie hordes. Got him. Alright, so that's pretty much how you shoot. Now you got your, your ambidextrous shooting here. You can actually hit right joystick R3 in and you'll switch to whatever way you like. Should have shot that actually. Does that blow up? Nope. We got a creep! Ooh, Stay those guys down. are really we, creepy. They really scare the shit out of you. They'll be there randomly. I'm not kidding. So you gotta watch out for Cargo that kind of terminal. stuff. Gotta be safer than the street. Alright, here's some more loot. Refill my loot. I definitely want a combat shotgun. Do. Take away the other shotgun. And I want this one. Actually, nah, yeah, we'll go with that one. It's better. Let's open I this keypad up. In here now. We gotta get All that right. door open. Go. We have to have a breaching charge to get in there. So And you can hit your left bumper to throw a grenade over there. Molotovs really keep them back. It really helps them. It really suppresses them when you throw those Molotovs. Now there's a gas grenade, that gas coming off that guy. That's so cool. And it even like, it just blows their heads off. It's so good, the gore. Did that actually explode? Oh shit. Drop the ball. The best idea is to just keep shooting. Here they come! This way. God, I knew he was gonna be there. Come on, kill him guys. Take him out for me, it looks please. Like Thank a you. Nest. Stay together. Thanks. Oh shit. Alright, we can't go in there.
If you move around, you can usually take take them out if you just keep spreading around. I noticed when I played this last, it says not to like get away from your people, but like I'm actually really good at Alright, let's run through guys. Hey! There's a tunnel under the tracks! Come on guys. Is hell down here. Hold your breath. Bull coming in! Shoot the big guy first no matter what. Because the big guy will throw your ass down. I'm not kidding. Those big guys are crazy. We're gonna run out of ammo down here. You gotta watch all these little angles here. See this guy? Now you need to apply medikits, you hit down on your uh, D-pad on the controller and that's how you apply them. Um, you can apply them to All your right. teammates too, you just gotta pick them up. See I just used one on me because I knew that we had some type now of uh, which is a breaching charge and when I knew I had a medikit so I couldn't pick it up until I did it. Now the lowest guy is actually not bad, I'm, you usually walk Stay up to him sharp. and you can use creeper. one, you hold down D-pad and it'll do it. Same way as you apply it to yourself. Shit. But but uh, I don't want to use hey, it right now, so there's a way up. push A to vault here. up, good. Good. get in, now. going up, and we're heading up. I know a lot of people are going to complain about the commentary, me talking over, but like, I really there's want to talk because everyone's already done a walkthrough commentary, I didn't want to do that again, you know? Now if you want to like put your like next spot to go to, you hit up on the d-pad and it tells your team which way you need to go. And if you click left L3 really quick, just one time, it'll run. Ooh. Medikit. Pick that up. Open that crate up. You usually want to open up all this stuff. That's pretty sick. I don't want that, though. Refill Molotovs. Definitely need Molotovs. They definitely help you out a lot. Let's see if I can get my team in this place. Get them in here. Yeah. See, I went too far. Knew it. Damn! Look at all those guns and all this ammo. There's no way we're getting over this fence. I am not dying because of goddamn fence. Look around. Oh, hey, look at the train tracks. Right under the gate. The train might smash right through the gate. Yeah, that could work. Need a run up. Can we back it up? That was a bad idea. So you gotta you gotta get these little these boxes that have tools in them that are really good for skills. And you can place them wherever you want. I'm gonna place this guy right here. Place an auto turret, deploy the turret. Auto turrets, you get on it, and you can actually oh it's auto, I think I don't have to shoot. Yeah, we're good. Now when you have these weapons on your back, it actually does um, make it, it slows them down a little bit when you're running. Oh shit. Definitely want to throw that over there. I forget how to switch weapons, so you have to forgive me. Usually I want to wait until they pile up. If you shoot the bottom base of these uh, hordes on the climb up, they can't get over. It slows them down. We can't hold them back. Gotta get out of here. Steady. The train's almost ready to.
It's a pretty cool game. If you want an idea of a feel, it's like Left 4 Dead 4, but like it's also like a Fortnite version of a zombie game. That's what I have to say about it. Definitely want these Molotovs. I could have used more of them. See, these Molotovs really do help you. So then the side I didn't put the Molotovs, I'm going to shoot the ones at the bottom so they all fall down. See how many I just killed with those Molotovs? That Molotov creates a field. It's so good. I'm trying, but you got to give me a second. Gotta give a gotta give a bro a second, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Stay clear, coming through. that shit wide open. Let's go! The gate's wide open! Reloading! Get away! So that guy, we need to run. Oh no! Hey, floor is open in here. I'm going in. Oh, smells like death down here. Reload. Death and sewage. Nice. I was thinking of jumping over that fence and going down that way, but uh, it's hard to do. Thanks. Lots of interactions and a lot of things you gotta interact with here. Um, it's very fluent, it's very scripted. If you don't like scripted games, you're not gonna like it, but I like from the this. Evac Center now. Obviously, you're gonna refill your ammo. Like, it gets a common knowledge. These are the same types of things. It reminds me of Borderlands in a way, or Wildlands in a way. The, the functionality of the GUI and, and how it works. It definitely is around that same style. Thank you for shooting him. I appreciate that. Wait for that fire to go out. And we should be clear. Ooh. See, he doesn't have a red blip. So he's not active. Already have a medikit. All right, who needs a medikit here? I'm just gonna give them one to show you how to do it. You hold down D-pad, and it gives you a medikit. And then you go over here, hold down X. Boom, there you go. Got it right there. Ceiling's caved in. It's our way out. Or that's what you think anyway. Yeah, we. oh, we can breach it. Let's breach it, why not? It's probably the beaten path they were talking about. Door charge set. The hell? It's a museum in the park. Old monastery. This is the beaten Something. path they were talking about. Here's the loot you want to get. Now, I don't have this. Obviously, your heavy gun, you're noticing it was off my back after I finished ammo. Well, the, the weapons just deteriorate off your back when you're done. Um, I'm going to apply another medikit to them if I, I have I one. Gonna be good I'm going to heal Angel. And then I'm going to heal. It's hard to heal them when they're standing so close together, but I guess I got to pick it up first, right? I probably need that. <laughs> and I probably need to heal, by the way, so I'm just going to apply it to myself because you can see my health is really low. <laughs> oh, well. Don't worry, guys. And this is getting kind of boring. We're going to end up doing it with me and Ace, so stay tuned for that one. This is not a good look. Easy, everybody. Weirdest fucking zoo I ever saw. 
Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're below us. It's so creepy. Equipment's full. If we get pushed back, at least I know I can blow. Oh, shit. That's what I need to breach. Alright, this should be good. Let's move up. I'm trying to move as quiet as possible. I don't want to uh, attract all them. Refill Molotov. That's how you do it. Go up here. You can interact with his stuff. All right. It's Let's very go. cool. It's very. It, it reminds me of certain. Whoa. Let's For now. All right. Let's run, guys. Jesus Christ! We're right in the middle of it. Which way to the river? Keep your head down oh, and follow the fence. Crap. Shit! Swarms running towards the event. Oh my God. Where's the arm? Oh my god. Okay, let's go guys. Yeah! They left auto turrets! Not ah. Ah. They're gone! We're too late! I made it! Move, guys. You need a medikit. Flying a medikit. Don't kill me. There's a ship just out here. So now there's a there's screamer. A Get it started. You gotta kill the screamers. If you don't kill the screamers. What? A code red has been detected. Shit! Not a code red. Code red. A code red has been detected. That guy is like literally the hardest thing to kill. You have to throw a Molotov at him to kill him, but I don't know what he's doing. That's so cool. Got the wind started. Ship's coming in. Oh shit. Please tell me there's some loot on this thing. Oh shit, we need to get that stuff. We're full. Molotov, going out. Yeah, a booty moving. We fill them and run. Shit, that was easy. See, you shoot the bottom base, takes them out. Fresh ammo coming up. Don't want to use all my Molotovs if I don't have to, but two Molotovs can take a whole horde out easily. Got all these explosives to carry, all these other explosives to use later. Oh shit, I didn't think about that part. This is so hard to do. I didn't know there was so much coming from each side. You have to throw those. If you don't, then you're fucked. Where's the screamer at? Stop. 
Oh, there's something up here I didn't I missed completely. What is this? Oh hell yeah, I didn't even know I could use this. That would have been a hell of a lot easier to tell me before. Right here for sure. This one's like at a perfect corner. Winch is jammed. Is the boat moving yet? That's a perfect turret location. Sorry, girl. Looks like the wind sees up. Gotta keep restarting the winch. Oh, that. So you have to keep on restarting the winch. I'm gonna go take out the screamer. Hold that position. Oh, I told you guys to stay here, bro. What you guys doing? Oh, I didn't know that was there. Oh, they didn't get on the boat in time. Hold on! It's just pissing them off. Like kicking an anthill. North to Lake Champlain. Yeah, we should be safe That's there. That's crazy. Ain't gonna be nothing left here. It's pretty good. I wasn't expecting the graphics to be this boat. good, but like the 4K thing is like really smooth. Like I'm running it at 4K, 90 frame ultra. Um, it's very good. Especially, I'm running SLI guys, I'm running uh, GTX 1080 Ti's and SLI. Um, Arnetta actually slayed the most zombies. I didn't do any melee, I don't think, but um, my slashing was really low.
And there's your performance. And then you've got your class progress, which gives you your next level's victory that gives you level up. See, there you go, it's a level, level. Gives you more performance bonuses and such. And unlocks crowd control, which I'm assuming is some type of new a melee weapons you can hit more zombies or something um you got your assault rifle your shotguns unlocked assault rifle now i can get that i have more experience with it as well and then i also additionally unlocked 150 money i guess that i can use so let's show you uh customizing weapons so as you unlocked it as you can see i've unlocked this too. See this one has better handling and power, but this one has better accuracy and power. So you either get better handling or more accuracy. It's a longer... Now when you get the logo bundle you get some of these you get unlocked, like the gold one you see there. Um, the logo bundle gets you the melee weapons unlocked, different melee weapon stuff. And you also get a assault rifle that's golden. Let's go ahead and get the AK and let's do that. Purchasing it. See, just to show you how you purchase stuff. There you go. And you can do your class. As you can see, I've uh, exterminator is leveled up. Oh, you have to have 150 to do it. So you can do hangover. Molotov burns 50% longer. Push radius for melee attack. Eh, let's do this. Because Molotovs are really a good benefit. Here we go. We're going in episode one with New York and the first trivia, which is the descent. Get to the subway. Left to die by the army helicopters buzzing overhead. Four you New Yorkers have no choice but to fight their way to freedom. Rumor tells of a shady character who will get them out of the city on a subway train for a price. The bully is a mighty beast. If he charges, you God better run. It, Bunko. I will leave your ass here. Nobody is leaving anybody. They're going to steamroll the army and then they'll be back. This is our only chance to get out. Not going into the subway. You've heard the stories. We will starve here. The subway is our only chance. We take it to Inwood, get to the evac center, and get the fuck out of New York. Or we die here. I don't like him, but he's right. Alright, so you go up here. Unlock all that. You've got all that stuff going on over there. Shh. Keep the noise down. Shh. Keep the noise down, but I just kicked the door open. How hilarious. This looks amazingly creepy. Looking for anybody that's going to jump at me. Dan, you hear me? Hey, what's up? I don't see you guys on the roof. We're going for it. Trying the subway to Inwood. So much Over. for shooting. Yeah, really? I don't know. Maybe the grunts will wipe them out in the Bronx. Flame on! Oh, what'd I do that for? My bad. You gotta really charge at them because if you don't. Now you can also do melee with your right bumper when you really need to. Just looking for some additional uh Papers close. Some some additional uh stuff. Usually there was. Interesting, there was Molotov or there was zombies. See like that, those guys. Let's run, fuck it. Don't stop until See, that's you get what I was talking about. Oh yeah? I'm running. You said don't stop, right? So now we're at the elevator. We can actually refill Molotovs. Throw those over there. We can refill Molotovs again. Run to this side. Throw them over there. Now they can't get through. Now I have time to buy myself ammo. I can give... I don't need a medikit, but... Um, 
I'll take the scout rifle. This will do. Here. Now to descent to the we ground gotta get floor. In the elevator now. Elevator cold. Clear the gas. I'm reloading. Going down. Oh, he scared the shit out of me. Come on, guys, get in the elevator. That was a glitch. Dan, you there? Always. We're headed down. Had a food. Gotta go now. You coming? Over. Ooh. I got food and booze for a This month. is awesome. This is so there. intense. I'm gonna wait it out. But I'll keep an eye out for you. Alright. That's Oh shit. my god. That's a lot of Zeke. That is I incredible. No choice. Look at all of them running. Oh my god. Ooh, I can feel that. I'll definitely take that. Now I notice there's something different. Um, usually the stuff was spawned in one location. Now it's like fixed. It's spawned in a different location. Incredible. There's another weapon in this corner over here. Keep it down. Ooh, that looks so sick. I'm gonna drop this one and get this one. You can actually pick this weapon back up with so Hold down Y to switch to your primary. Hey, who's first? Of course, just throw the, keep the grenade launcher. Oh, come on, guys. You're gonna cover me. I can't be doing that shit. The Molotovs really work well, though, I'll tell you that. Pick this guy back up. Fill that. Over here, they're gonna try to climb again. I'm gonna throw one last. He sprayed me with his toxic piss. Throw one at the base up there. There we go. So they climb through it. Let's take care of these guys. God damn it. Come on, man. Move the fuck out the way. Ugh. They, what, whoever he locks onto, it's just bad who he's gonna get. I'm definitely gonna get this rifle and refill ammo is full. Medicate's full. Um, and uh, all right. Let's go down here now. Come on, creep. Keep the noise down. All right. Anyway. Creeper down. Clear. Subway should be just across the street. Looks like Bunko needs a health, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Help him real quick. You. Apply a medikit. I owe you. Then I'm gonna pick up a new medikit. And then uh, you can actually pick up barbed yeah. wire. This will keep him back. Unlock a special on, crate. Give me something. Bullpup rifle. Eh. So much good loot though. It's incredible how much good loot there is here. Chainsaw, as I was talking about. Come on now, creep. I know your ass is there. Another chainsaw. Uh, guys, I'm seeing a swarm coming 
Oh, great. Place this guy right here. Robotic death machine, baby. And then we get all this. Creeper neutralized. Looking for those additional beneficial crates and things. Here we go. This will buy us some time. Definitely want to put this one right here. Let's deploy another turret here. Stay together. Auto turrets ready for action. And then uh, we need this. I found some defenses. Definitely want to put this one right up front. I want to get as far as away from the turret and separate place. the turret from the barb barber, whatever it's called. And then uh, I think there was another one I could place. I'm not sure where that thing is at. Oh, here it is. I found some defenses. Reaper's gone. Oh. Oh, is that a turret too? Damn, we got a lot of machine Putting guns down a 50 here. Cal turret. We're gonna be OP as hell right now. I ain't even kidding. Last time I didn't even get no barbed wire, but... Swarm coming in. Fuck you. You're gonna burn to hell. If he's gonna, if he's gonna beat me up, I'll, I'll, he's gonna burn with me with a fucking Molotov then. Alright, so... Now they're coming. I need to run up here. Oh, come on. If I can, man. Alright, they're coming through. Get some, and while they're taking care of that, run up here into the smoke. Get some more Molotovs. Only take care of the stragglers, the guys that make it through the fire. Should be good. You're welcome. Just keep on wiping them out, you know what I'm saying? Simra sword, motherfucker! Alright, so I'm talking about. Can we make it across to the subway? Maybe we can. Took care of all of them with one melee. That was incredible. Did you guys see that? I should have used melee the whole time, dude. That shit was amazing. Raise it up. I'm gonna repair my uh, medikit and use this medikit. You can't come back through here when you're done. So I mean, I'm just gonna use all this up while I can and refill everything while I can. You know what I mean? Just gotta get what you can while you can. So we had a lot of stuff we could have used for this, but we chose the easiest way, letting the guns take care of it and the Keep barbed wire slow them down and then the fire kill them off. Um, all we do is interact with this. It unlocks the door. No turning back now. And now we're in the streets. This is so incredibly amazing. Do not stop. Get to the subway. Fresh right, ammo coming stopping. up. But I want to check these crates. Come on. Give me something. Carbine. I already got one. Primary is it looks incredibly amazing. Alright, we almost here. We got Molotovs. We good for Molotovs. We good for health. We're fresh as hell. This is the part where it's going to get really shitty. We got to push through. We 
guess we could move through. Take that. To Inwood right now. Even I'll take that right now. It'll cost you. This rabbit hole is chock a block with goodies. Bring them to me. Hey, I'm reloading. All right, now we gotta go do this all. Oops. Oh, it's in here. Damn, I'm blind. So the screamers, they actually alert them. Should be enough. Take the screamer out. What you asked for? Much obliged. How cute. Thank you guys for backing me up. Appreciate it. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Back up. Where the fuck is he at? Alright, well, while we're waiting for that guy. Oh, I see him. See, that fire will kill all zombies. Ooh, that guy's not. See, he's moving, he's got that red. That means they're alive. Reloading! Taken out. All right, this is epic. Picked up another Got box. that done. Should be enough. Let's go back. Okay, we good? We almost to good. Work today is to eat tomorrow. Bring more. I swear to God. One of Stevie's goodies, bringing it back. Okay, we good? Fear is the disease, hustle is the antidote. Find more. I swear to God. Oh, that's mad over here. Good thing he Hold didn't go breath. into the place I was going into. For the cloud. Found one of Stevie's goodies. Bringing it back. How cute. They're always around the corners and they don't say anything until. Alright, you got to earn this ass whooping. Those giants in the Bronx must be shitting in their drawers by now. Yep. Okay, we good? I didn't have time to store any food. I was busy making music. You I'm sound like a douche. Yet. I swear to God. Ooh, that's what I want right there. This'll do. What are we doing?
one of Stevie's goodies. Bringing it back. Yes! Go! Got that! Go! Dude, I'm like samurai with this fucking shit, bruh. America Chad will everything! What now? Pretty oh, it's good guys. a really weird glitch. Thanks. Alright. While we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Because I am so low on health after all that melee. Epic mm. melee attacks. Alright. ammo. Do I have a medikit? I do. Thank you. I needed that. Um, that guy is definitely a good weapon. I kind of want to switch to it. I'm oh, use it right now. you were all mine. Oh, gotta deliver the crate. Okay, we good? All aboard, who's coming aboard? That's it? That was easy. Oh, we're making too much noise. They're gonna come. We gotta go now. Do you wanna drive? Shut up! Move the goddamn train! I can't! <coughs> Jaws that bite and claws that catch! Who oh, beware the jammer of my son? <laughs> Crazy son of a bitch. Crazy son of a bitch with a train! Boop, boop. <laughs> Epicness. So good. So that was that one. That was pretty cool. I don't know what you guys think. If you enjoy this series, make sure to smash the like. Let me know if you want me to do more of this as well as check out my next video we will be doing where me, Ace, Spadge, and a whole bunch of friends will be playing from the zombie series you know so well. We will be playing this online together. Um, it's a board. See you guys next time.